Life has certainly changed a lot for college athletes. Online classes, no practices, no games. And as our Taylor Tannenbaum shows us tonight, there is a soccer player over at Butler using this extra free time to help other people during this pandemic. Typically at this time of year, Ethan King would be on campus at Butler playing soccer. Instead, right now, he's back home in Michigan, lending a helping hand to people over 8,000 miles away. You look at a city like New York, which is, you know, one of the you know, most renowned cities in the world and, and um, you know, very uh, a, a great infrastructure in place and, and tons of people are dying over there. It's just like, it's, it's super hard to combat. And then you compare it to um, a country like Mozambique, which, you know, vacillates between being one of the poorest countries in the world. You know, the, 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 the health care is just not comparable to what we have here. These people are, you know, they're kind of just forgotten about. So King created the 19 United Initiative. The campaign is focused on educating people in Mozambique about the coronavirus. They're also focused on building and repairing clean water wells in the villages. One of the most you know, prominent things that the CDC recommends for, for people to stay safe from coronavirus and protect themselves is to wash their hands, you know. They don't even have access to clean drinking water. So what they're actually drinking is like the same water that they're you know, bathing in and, and washing their clothes in and like river streams. And there's no chance even if, even if they got coronavirus that they'd be able to you know, protect themselves by washing their hands or something like that. So th if we can, you know, we're, we're just trying to repair as many walls right now as possible so that way people have access to clean drinking water. Keep pumping. The King already has a long standing connection to Africa. A decade ago when he was just 10 years old, he started another campaign called Charity Ball. It brings the game of soccer to impoverished countries. Here we are today, 10 years later, um, we've done thousands of soccer balls to kids in over 50 different countries now. So it's been, it's been a really fun time to be able to help a lot of people out, so. Now during this time, King has shifted his focus from soccer balls to saving lives. If we can take these preventative measures and really, really, you know, like I said, get ahead of the curve, um, then, then we're really looking to create an impact that um, limits the amount of damage that, that this uh, disease does to the, the people and the communities and the villages.